entitled CO2 now. So who are you going to measure their entitled CO2 on? So if you have a patient that's uh, going to get moderate sedation, you definitely should. If you have a, um, a patient who's overdosed on some kind of sedative or has very shallow respirations, then you should do their entitled CO2. Uh, a COPD patient would probably be a good idea, as well as all intubated patients need to have entitled CO2. Um, all of the dashes and all of the solar monitors are equipped to monitor entitled CO2. But to begin with, this is the dash. And if you're going to use this on the dash, then you need this adapter here for uh, what, what we would call side stream or um, non-intubated patients. So you plug it into the side, yellow on yellow, and then it needs to warm up. So once you plug it in, it's warming up. Okay. Now we have different methods of of uh, measuring entitled CO2 in this in this way. We have tubing that is strictly for entitled CO2, and that's clear. We have it for adults, and we have it for pediatrics. And then the, the tubing that is green and clear, you can um, administer oxygen at the same time as um, measuring their entitled CO2. In addition, if you have a patient on a face mask or a non-rebreather mask, you can use this tubing. It just goes in the ears, and then you go ahead and apply the mask uh, for oxygen administration um, on top of that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and utilize this, and it's still warming up. It takes one to two minutes. And it's just a very simple two-step process. Once it's done warming up, you want to calibrate the sample line. Okay? So to do that, you're going to plug it in, plug this in into here. Okay? And then I'm going to toggle the CO2. And at the bottom, I'm going to toggle over to calibrate sample line. And ready. And then once a zero, oh. you want to make sure when you calibrate that you don't have the, the end near any kind of oxygen or breathing source. I'm not sure if that. There, it's calibrating. Okay, so now I know that it's calibrated, so then you can go ahead and insert it into the patient, under the patient's nose, and you're going to get a reading. Your normal should be between 32 and 43. If it's high, then you know that they're retaining CO2. If it's low, they might be breathing too fast. Okay, so that's on your basic non-intubated patient. Okay, so next I'll show you how to do it on an intubated patient, which are you going to use a different type of tubing, which is this long cord with the yellow, okay? You're going to go ahead and plug that into the same side port that we had before. The, and the, it should pop up here. Now it's going to warm up again. Again, it has to warm up every time. When you have an intubated patient, you need this uh, adapt clear. They're disposable. They're kept behind B station where the rest of the entitled CO2 equipment is kept. And this is a three-step process as opposed to the two-step process. Okay? Once it has warmed up, this there's two cells here. There's a zero cell and a reference cell. Okay? The first thing you're going to do once it tells us to is that we're going to calibrate to zero cell. The reference cell, you don't have to calibrate it. You can if you would like to. It just kind of helps you know that it's within its, its um, parameters, but it's most important that you calibrate the zero cell. Okay, so it's telling me to cal sensor to zero cell. So I'm going to toggle the CO2 and I'm going to Cal sensor to zero cell. I'm going to clip this on here. It will only go on one way, okay? All right, 
there must not have been the right way. It's snapping in place and I'm gonna ready cal sensor to zero cell. Okay, so now I'm going to calibrate my adapter, okay? So I, again, I'm going to clip it onto the adapter. Again, it only goes on one way. Snap it in place, and I'm going to calibrate adapter here and ready. Once this is done calibrating, then you're going to go ahead and attach it to your patient's um, oxygen uh, system it is applied distal to the round bulb, which is the um, moisture collector. Okay, so now it's ready, and I would go ahead and connect it between, um, the, uh, you got the ET tube, and then uh, the tubing that comes down, and then it has the big ball, it goes distal to that ball, and then you'll go ahead and get your reading. Same readings are expected for intubated versus non-intubated patients.